Hello everyone, my name is Drew Coleman and welcome back to another episode on the Elsewhere server. It is episode, oh, oh gosh, is it episode 10 already? Dang, I've been doing this for a little while, haven't I? Actually, okay, you know, thinking back, 10 is just, it's not a, a terribly large amount of episodes. I'm, I'm, I got school, guys. I, I have excuses. Anyways, to, to, today, in this episode, we are, wait, oh wait, what are we doing this episode? I've totally forgotten. Oh yeah, okay, so, in the last episode, we put the crystal in this, in this, in this suspension tank here, and so... In this episode, starting off, guys, here we go. We are going to be preparing to do testing on this thing. That's right. We're not actually going to be doing testing in this episode. We're not actually going to be doing any testing on this thing, but we are going to prepare ourselves to do some more testing. And uh, you guys will understand what I mean in just a second here. But in order to do any form of testing, we will need quite a bit of power in order to, again, do any form of testing. So I would think the best way to do that is to get some form of giant battery or something, I guess. I'm not, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what this is going to end up looking like but i think the best course of action is to get some form of battery going so then we have plenty of power when we want to start the testing eh, no matter what the testing may be we'll have plenty of power for it um so we'll also need to figure out a way to charge the battery and i actually think i have a couple ideas for that but in this episode we are just going to be i think just creating the battery we might do a couple other things maybe but the main focus of the episode is just going to be creating the battery actually a thought that just came with that is that we need to why is my helmet off we need a way to power the battery to charge it up you know and so we'll probably need a generator of some kind and i think i'm going to utilize this ocean that was apparently placed by me i'm i'm, I'm going to be using this ocean that apparently i built to move a fan well yeah okay it's, it's like a fan but it's not going to be blowing air obviously the water is going to be turning the fan and then we'll use that fan's turningness to generate energy because science and then we'll use that energy to charge the battery that is the new plan for this episode that i definitely didn't just come up with in my head but to build this battery turns out i actually need quite a bit of redstone which i don't really have because i don't i'm not the kind of person to just go down and mine for ores for hours that's just it just doesn't work for me I don't know why i'm just like that i just i don't like mining but it's just one of those things that you just need to do in survival so last time i was here i didn't really go mining for redstone because at the moment i wasn't really looking for redstone and so it turns out there's actually quite a bit down here i just need to find it <laughs> basically we need to go mining for diamonds i mean redstone just, yeah just redstone not diamonds but if we find diamonds i'll take them redstone acquired and now that i have all the materials i need for actually building this battery we can actually get hard and start building it now the real question is where we're actually going to build this battery I'm thinking maybe on top but i feel like that would just look weird just have a battery sitting on top of you know a desert and like nothing around it until you actually see that this thing's underneath the yeah, i feel like that would just look stupid so we're not going to build it on top maybe in the walls nah oh you know we could probably do it underneath there is oh oh sweet there's already like a ledge down here yeah yeah yeah. okay so we could just build like the whole thing underneath this hopefully no lava will pour down and ruin anything but i think we i think we should have enough room to just build a battery underneath the laboratory and then we could just hook up the, the charge from there and get the get the power from underneath yeah yeah okay okay so let's get work on that then our battery but i feel like it's kind of lonely here so i think we might as well just make an entire four and now with our batteries in place we can actually start working on the fan i think we're probably just going to end up putting it right here just right in the middle of the lake that seems logical to me at least and there we have our fan and okay to be honest the more i look at it 
And especially with it being underwater, it doesn't look quite like the design I came up with in the single player world. Maybe it'll get better if it's more like midday or something. But something else I would like to do in this episode is also take the take the power from this, as it turns, um, and take it down in like wires or something down, and then all the way over to the batteries off in that direction where the lab is. That way we won't be able to um, channel the power into the batteries, charge them up, for the uh for the experimenting and then that way we'll have power so we might need to make a couple more of these just in case but i think i'll leave it at this one for now actually i might just make it bigger but until we do that we are just going to go ahead and make this cord which is a very tedious process but after many hours of work actually okay it was just like one hour but after that time we as you can see um off in that distance is my base and we have succeeded in getting the wire all the way across and then plugging it up into the battery so now whenever that fan turns and generates power we will be uh, storing that power in these batteries here which will eventually be used to experiment on the crystal okay guys i was just sent a screenshot in our discord server which if you're not part of you can definitely join us down below but i was just sent a screenshot from kaza here in the fragment about what he's been doing recently and this looks looks absolutely amazing and totally matches up with all the other builds he's been building this just looks awesome this is so cool i wonder where is he living now? Because I imagine this probably covered up where his house was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure his house was like right here or something. I don't even see it anymore. I'm not really sure where he's living at the moment. So hopefully he has a home somewhere. Oh, seems he hasn't finished his hill yet. Oh. Oh. He's trying to get back at me for all these selling I'm doing. I mean, if this is the farm that's fueling his shop, then it can't be doing all that well. At least I don't imagine it would be. Dude, I think he's just about to sell us out. He's got way more wool than we do. You know what, Kaza? It is on, my man. Let the wool war begin. But in order for a wool war to happen, we need to be properly equipped for it. Ah, as you can see. Now we have wool leggings. Ah, oh, that's great. I have a wool helmet. And we have our wool boots. Oh, heck yeah. Now let's see what these look like. Oh, oh heck yeah. <laughs> Let the wool war begin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wonder if we should make, like, little weapons or something. Uh, you know what, we'll worry about that later. For now, we need to focus on getting our wool farm to be as efficient as it can be. Was that thunder? Oh yeah, that was thunder, okay. So let's come over here quick, because this is just not gonna cut it. We need to make something that's far more efficient than this. And also, we're actually overflowing with wool right now, as you can see. We just have wool just sort of sitting up top because the minecart that's collecting it is completely overfilled with wool. So we need some form of sorting system where we can sort all the different colors of the wool just so that we can actually get this thing sorted and working properly as it should be. So yeah, let's just go ahead and just get working on that then. Just like that, we have our sorting system complete. It took a lot of chopping of trees and, and a lot of making and stuff. Actually, I had to go to the fragment to get some more redstone because I only had like a stack or something. So now I have a ton of redstone, which is just great. Um, but as you can see, we have all of our redstone components in place here. Everything does work. I just filled the hoppers up above with the uh, assigned color. So as you can see, this is magenta. If we come up here, you see there's magenta wool in here. So what will happen is all of the wool will come through these chests up top. They go into these hoppers here. They will come along. And then as it reaches its slot, like so let's say light blue is coming along, it reaches its slot. And because this thing is filled with light blue only, the light blue will come into here and then filter down into this chest down here, as you can see. And so here is the big moment. We're going to be filtering all of this wool, including all of the wool above it, 
into the entire system. If it doesn't work, I think it will all end up at the back, or it will all end up in like the first chest, which would be unfortunate. But let's go ahead and try it out. I think, I think it should work fine. I really have no idea if it's working. I think it is, but it's hard to tell. Uh oh. This should have more in it. So I fixed up all the problems that were going on with the wool farm and the collecting system and the sorting system and all that. And I made this little AFK spot up here where we can only load in what's directly below us, which as you can see is the wool farm. And so hopefully that will be working somewhat more efficiently because like things like that, those aren't in um, aren't in the loading distance or some, I, I don't know, some Minecraft logic that I don't really understand. But apparently it works, so I'm gonna try it out. But yeah, I suppose I'm just gonna go ahead and AFK here for a little bit and then see how much we can get in that amount of time. Okay guys, I've been AFK for a while, but also one more thing I would like to say that, in all honesty, I didn't have a ton of time to record this, but as you can see, we have created three more layers to the sheep farm. Um, the, the three that I just made don't actually have the rotating uh, the rotating grass function as you guys can see right here. They don't have that because I just was being lazy I guess um, but It is they are all working and let me show you how much we have now So the color with the most wool in it is magenta currently as you can see it has uh, Overflowed into the second large chest that we have here and then the least one we have is actually right next to it Which is brown and this is how much we have of brown. So this thing is actually working really well So we are coming up close behind Kaza and we can actually start matching his his prices now. Uh, we might be able to go over even. Although a friend of mine gave me a really good suggestion, which I think I'm going to go with. All right, we've set up a new system for the Jebest store. As you can see, welcome to Jebest store in all the dimensions. Of course, we have to have that sign somewhere. New best prices, one diamond for any nine stacks of whatever color suits your fancy. That means any combination of color stacks you want, which means the person, oops, that's not supposed to be there, which means the person can grab any, any like nine stacks. So if they want to grab some wool, some green, some blue, you know, some orange in there, and then they can get nine stacks of any color they want, and then they can pay for all of those nine stacks in just one diamond in this chest right here uh, as you can see pay here in the chest so that ways that makes it far more uh, customer uh, how, how do i say this customer appealing i guess i'm not i'm not sure if that's the right word but i'm working on restocking them i only have so much inventory space and i don't really feel like buying shulkers right now so i will work on restocking all of these and then they can they can be fully ready for whenever someone comes along and wants to buy stuff um so yeah, there's just one more thing we need to do in this episode. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Okay, this is this is this is this is for vandalizing my store with signs. Cause uh, how could you? I'm so upset. I definitely didn't do it first, and this definitely isn't vandalism. Anyways, I'm off. Cause uh, I do believe it's your turn.